Alright guys, we've made it to episode 13, and we're going to start it out like this. Right here. Just got 80 mage. You can now string jewelry, and that's like 120k experience an hour, but it's kind of expensive. But I think I'm going to go that route. Alright, now that we're getting this episode, I just want to talk about some of the goals for it. Uh, the main goal definitely is going to be the fire cape. I'm going to jump on that pretty soon. And it's definitely going to be done this episode. I don't care if it takes me... 5, 10 tries, but we're going to get that fire cape, so look forward to that, also I want to get my skills up to the 60s, which I've got quite a few that are still like under, so I got thieving, farming, which farming will be simple, hunter, construction, and runecrafting, so I'll probably knock them all out besides the runecraft, and I'll probably get that up to like 50 or so, but just get a step closer and get that 1500 total, and yeah, there's a... Probably a couple other like, little things we'll do this episode. Maybe some Slayer. Maybe some quest points. We'll see. Alright, we're about to do the first attempt of the Fire Cape on this account. So, I bought some gear. Got my inventory set up. And I'm about to attempt it. Dude, I'm pretty like freaked out right now. Like, I just got a phone. I'm a crumble jab. But, man, I hope I get this. Seriously, just so disappointed right now. Got killed by the Meteor on wave 59 for... Just being an idiot. I ran right past him trying to block off the ranger and everything like that. But yeah, I got to 59. Probably took about an hour. So that was an hour away. So didn't make it to Jaden. Dude, we just fucking got it. <laughs> Second try. Dude, 79 range, 70 defense. It took me 73 minutes. Damn, dude. I'm like shaking right now. That was like intense. It took like an hour to get there. But we finally fucking got it. 3.30 in the morning. Fire cape looks good. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, so in the middle of my Suqua task, ended up getting a hard clue. So, here's the casket right here. Let's see what we get. Wait up, let's eat one. Oh, that was junk. 87k, not bad. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and activate the fairy ring. I don't know why I haven't did this yet. Alright, only got like 30 more left in this task. Ended up getting 80 range, and it looks good with that mage. I just need to get that 70 prayer soon, man. But yeah, uh, probably just going to finish this task. I don't think I'm going to get another. Starting some skills. Finished up that Suqua task. So I decided to come to a little thieving. Just got 55. We got two levels. And I want to get five more levels to get that 60 mark. And yeah, it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty quick up in here. Just got 60 thieving. Man, that looks good. I think that's like the highest thieving level I've ever had on any one of my accounts. Like, since actual 2005 to now. But yeah, that's like a cool accomplishment. And I got 1490 total. 10 more to the 1500. Nice. Alright guys, been doing a little bit of woodcutting. Just got 65 woodcutting. And also, we have got 901 new logs, which is about 280k. So, not too bad. And it was pretty relaxing while I'm starting the dead mad mode seasonal. After getting that thieving knocked out, decided I want to do a little bit of Slayer, so let's see what the next task is. 58 Anakus, that's actually a pretty nice little task. Just knocked out that Anaku task pretty quickly, so let's see what we get next. 149 Suquas. I almost want to block these, like I know they're good experience, but like I need to make some cash right now, like I don't know what to do. I guess I could like safe spot them because they drop hard clues, so... I guess I'm gonna do it. Alright guys, next kill we're about to get a Slayer level. If we could hit it. Alright, there we go. Just got 65 Slayer, and we are really close to 74 Strength also. Man, we are literally 3k to 74 Strength, but let's see what we get next. 160 Spiritual Creatures. I think all I could kill is the Rangers, which sounds terrible. Yeah, fuck that, I'm going to skip it. Just skipped that spiritual creatures task, ended up getting 155 aberrant specters, so that's actually a pretty good one. Just got 74 strength, and we are still, no, we're 91 combat now. We actually made some decent cash from that task, didn't get a hard clue or anything like I wanted. That's two tasks in a row I didn't get a hard clue, but let's see what we get next. 135 Dagonauts, that's a pretty good one. Nice and chill. Just finished up that Dagonaut task. We ended up getting a medium clue. We didn't get any levels or anything, but let's see what the next one's going to be. 
166 brown rats. This is like actually one of my favorite tasks. But I'm going to go ahead and do that medium clue real quick. And then I'll get to that brown rats task. Man, that was weird. That was like a five step medium clue. But we finally got the casket. So let's see what we get. Nah, I'm totally fucking with you. <laughs> that was one of those caskets from the Dagonaut task. But here we go. Oh. Zami Page, dude? Five hundred and forty two K. Hell yeah, sixteenth medium. You cannot beat that. Zami Page all day. Nearly finished this task of Brian Rats and right here we're about to get a level. Just got seventy five strength. Still ninety one combat, but oh yeah, I only got six more of these left and I'll be getting a new task. I I just want to get that sixty six slayer for those ancient wyverns. Be tight. Finished up that Brian Rats task, so let's see what we get next. 164 blood velds that is a sweet ass task and that's gonna get me the 66 so nice man i just got 66 slayer and this unlocks the ancient wyverns but i don't know if i'll honestly ever do them but still kind of cool to get just finished this task of blood velds we're only about 50k to the next range level and also look at all this money we made almost 700 blood runes we also got a hard clue so let's check this out real quick Dude, 300k almost. Plus, we had an ancient shard, so I'm gonna take a break from Slayer now. I'm probably gonna go do some Zora because I'm running super low on some skulls and make a little bit of cash too. Man, I told myself next time I got this, I would get the 63 fishing, but I'm seriously just not feeling it right now. It's like one o'clock in the morning right now. I just I feel like doing a little bit of Zora, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it. And hopefully, next time I get this, I end up getting the 63, but we'll see. Alright guys, at the Zora area, and I just wanted to throw this out there. A lot of people have asked me about putting a guide out there for lower levels and such for Zora, but it's really not recommended without 85 range, 85 mage. I'm just doing this because I've did a lot of Zora. I've did almost 2k kill count. I've memorized everything. If it wasn't for that, I would have a terrible time trying to learn with this account. Just, uh, yeah, it's highly recommended to be a little higher level. I just got some experience with it. I'm just throwing that out there. Holy shit, guys. In the past seven kills, I've died three times. Like, I'm just getting worked by Zola right now. All right, on kill count 92, I think we got our first rare drop, and it's pretty shitty. We got the Spirit Seed. I think it's like 1 in 248 or something like that, but I could be wrong. Still sucks to get, but we did get the Magic Seed also. I'm going to do eight more kills and see how many skulls we ended up with. Alright guys, we just hit 100 KC, and I feel like the drops haven't been too good yet, but there's got to be something coming soon. We got to get that Visage or something like that, but yeah, we got the 100 KC. Probably made about 1.2 mil off the 20 kills. I might do a couple more, I'm not sure yet though. Man, we just got a Crystal Seed and a Dragon Halley. Those are both pretty high up there too. I think like Crystal Seed's like 254 again, and the D Halley's like 128 or something like that. But yeah, this is the last kill right here. We got up to 106 kill count. And I'd say we made it like at least 2 mil. So, I don't know. I'll check the bank see where we're at now. I'm pretty sure before I started Zora, I think my bank was like 26.4. So we made about 1.8 mil. And we're at a 28.2 mil bank now. So, I'm not sure if that's completely accurate. But we got a lot of death rune drops. Uh, let's go look at it. I mean, we got some loots. We got Justin Zora tellies we got 150k we got the magic seed we got the zami page from that clue earlier so we got a nice little loot tab here once we sell that we'll have like three more cash also i think we had about 2k skills already in the bank so once we add these we should be pretty close still 25 percent to being full but that'll last as well man we just got 68 tiers that's actually pretty good see how much experience it is 4k runecrafting experience we're almost 46 runecrafting so i think now i'm about to do some nature runes i haven't did it on this account it's been a couple years since i've actually did nature runes but i want to get around 50 runecrafting and plus that'll get me up to that 1500 total check this out right here just got 49 runecrafting isn't a very special level but we just got 1500 total level overall and that's like a pretty big accomplishment like i can't believe i already got this I've only been doing it for a couple months and we're already at the 1500 total. 
But I'm going to continue making these nature runes. I've made about, I think, 3.2k so far. And so we're making some cash. So I don't know if we're going to stop at 50 or to continue. Alright guys, we've been rune crafting for about 2 hours now I'd say. And right here we're about to get a level. Just got 50 rune craft. And this now unlocks the large pouch. Which I think adds an extra 9 essence per inventory. So that will boost me up to about 44. What is that? 9 times... 200 that's like actually like 1.8k per trip so i'm gonna test out a couple trips with that and just yeah stack up some nature runes i am officially done rune crafting i've made about i think i had about three or four hundred runes in the bank already but we got 4700 and let's see how much this is right here so we made nearly a mil maybe about 900k just off getting 50 and right now we're about halfway to 51 so i think it's a good stopping point right there Man, this takes me back right here. We just got an easy clue scroll. We had it from like woodcutting like literally like a week ago. It's just been sitting in the bank. So I forgot what we got, but like we made bank like the first episode. Damn. Okay. 768 GP. Man, I totally forgot about like this section of my bank. It's like 1.5 mil just in herbs and seeds. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell my loot tab and everything like that. And just see how much cash we got from the episode. Man, we have made it to the end of episode 13. And I just want to thank y'all for the support. And just uh, all my subscribers. We're at like 930 right now and it's looking good. But yeah, we accomplished some good stuff this week. We got the fire cape. Get a little close up on that real quick. Look at that thing, man. And yeah, we got the fire cape. We also got 1500 total. We got 60 thieving. Uh, 50 rune crafting, 65 wood cutting. We got all kinds of stuff, man. And uh, right now I'm working on that 63 fishing. I dropped the clue, which I should have kept, but I want to get it for the next clues I do, you know, just in case. And yeah, uh, just thank y'all for the support, and I really appreciate it. And also I want to give a shout out to Sneezy Cobra right here because he does all my artwork. He's did all my stuff for YouTube, and he is just awesome. But yeah, he does uh, some streaming on Twitch, and he's trying to get like a little bit of a following going right now. It's kind of hard to get the start up. So I'm going to put a link to his Twitch channel in the description. So if you do, just give him a, give him a chance. Check out his uh, streams. He does more than old school RuneScape. He also does like Overwatch and a couple other games. So he's a pretty cool dude though. So hope you all check him out.